Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the submarine, and as you guys can see in the previous video, we actually ended up painting this thing, which is actually pretty sick to be honest. I like the reds, I like the stripes, I think it works. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to work on it not blowing up when we hit the sea floor. We're also actually going to add a tiny conning tower to this, because I feel like it's probably a good idea. With that being said, uh, adding a conning tower will also allow us to actually have a bit of an airlock in here. Uh, so when we're actually underwater, we'll be able to escape out and uh, get outside. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so here it is right here, this is exactly what we have, and to be totally honest with you guys, I actually really like the way that it's going. However, I'm going to show you guys one of the problems that we do actually have with this thing, uh, when we are cruising at a million miles an hour underneath the water. So if I can actually get on top of this, which indeed is, it is possible, uh, we'll get inside like so, and then we'll drive it forwards, and you guys will see the problem that we have with it. If we are going a million miles an hour, and we actually end up hitting the ground, uh, let me, oh, there you go, that's what happens. So obviously we don't want that happening, uh, we don't want any explosions, it will also cause leaks, and that's just not good. So what we're going to do is we are going to get out of there, we're going to go ahead and delete this bit and this bit, we're going to get ourselves a ski like this one, and we're going to put it right there and right there. Now what this is going to allow us to do is actually hit the surface, uh, or hit the seabed, um, and not actually explode. I don't think we'll explode anyway, so... Let's go ahead and ram ourselves into the ground and see what happens. Also, uh, we need to work on that being a problem too. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what happens here. So, let's go ahead and make us go forwards. There we go. Excellent. We are now traveling at a, a decent speed going forwards. We'll now ram it into the ground and we don't do any damage. Excellent. So, that has actually solved the problem straight away. That is actually really, really good as well. So, I like that. That's good. Now, we'll work on the conning tower and hopefully make this good too. So, we'll only raise it up by another, like, one or maybe even two. Uh, and then I think that'll be it, to be honest. So, we'll go up by about two. Turn this around. Spin that around. Actually, we'll do it like this. This is a good idea. Uh, do that. We're also going to go ahead and put these pieces on. There we go. Excellent. And excellent. Right, so grab this piece. Uh, delete that. There we go. Go ahead and put that right there. We'll actually make it this color, because it makes sense. Uh, and we'll also put it in the right way around. There we go. Very nice. We're then going to delete this, delete this entire area, uh, and that's going to be okay, I think, uh, which is pretty good. We're going to delete these pieces as we go. We're also going to go ahead and paint that bit white, because I feel like we should, uh, and that's a-okay. Now, we do need this, so that if we're going to jump into here, uh, we're actually able to... I don't know how to explain it, but we want the water to be able to, to, be able to get pumped out, essentially. So, we're going to go ahead and lower this down quite far. Like that. There we go. Delete these two. Excellent. In fact, delete these as well. We're going to have it be a little bit jaggedy, uh, and I think that's probably A-OK. -okay. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, that works. Uh, so now that we've done that, we need a way of actually getting out the top. So we're going to delete this piece. We're going to delete this piece. We're going to delete that piece, this piece, and also this piece. We're going to get ourselves some ladders, and we're going to go ahead and shove them in until we can actually get out the top. So there we go. Excellent. Let's go ahead and paint these as we should. Painted, painted, painted. Actually, those ones don't need it. Uh, and paint the rear end of this as well. As, as well as that, I guess. And that. There we go. So that's all good. That is actually completely fine. We're then going to go ahead and seal this bit off. Because obviously we can. Uh, and then we need another door. Somewhere at the bottom. Uh, in order to actually get into it. So we're going to go ahead and put this... Uh, not there. But like somewhere like here. There we go. Grab this. Put it on there properly, if we can. There we go, excellent. And I think that'll be fine. Yeah, very good. So we have to crawl into it, and then once we've crawled into it, we should be good to just go. So seal this off all the way to the top, yet again, excellent. Seal this bit off right here as well, all the way up to there. In fact, delete this area. Actually, no, we can have this. There we go. Do that, and that'll allow us to actually get out of the submarine, get out of the top, and that should work. Yeah, excellent. Nice. I'm actually really pleased with that. That's good. Uh, we are going to seal it off like that at the back, so that's all pretty good. Uh, and this is going to be a little area that we can uh, we can pump uh, water out of. So, I think the pump is actually going to go up here. Here we go. Pump. And we should be able to make this work really well, actually. So, put that there. Delete this little piece right here. And that is in. Yeah, that's actually good. It's the right way around. Fluid port is going to go directly onto here. 
There we go. Excellent. Uh, and then we need another fluid port to go out the top, uh, which is going to go right there. All right, here we go. So we'll put that right there like that. Get ourselves a pipe, attach it together. And then realistically, that's all we need to do. So get rid of this. Put that there. Attach this piece directly onto there. Uh, like so. Excellent. And I think I can actually paint that bit and that bit. Oh, I can't actually get to that bit. There we go, like that. And we'll paint those pieces like that as well. And honestly, that's actually completely fine. In fact, we'll paint all of that area like that. And that's okay. Very nice. In fact, on top of that, we could even do this. So, have a T-junction right there. We, we can actually have it pump out of both uh, areas. And I think that would work out quite nicely. So, there we go. If we've got fluid in here, uh, it'll automatically pump out using this thing. Excellent. So, we need a grater then. Uh, which can actually fit up there, I believe. There we go. Excellent. Uh, if the number is greater than something, it'll turn this on. Uh, value to compare, value to be compared to. So we need a fluid, uh, a level, a meter. We need a meter. The meter is going to go directly in here like so. There we go. If it is greater than one, then it will go. So if it actually, if it's greater than zero, no, it has to be like 0 0.01. No, that's actually fine. I think this will work. I do, I actually think this will work. So, we now need a dial to figure out whether there's water in there or not. So, let's go ahead and put this in. Dial can go right there. We're going to go ahead and paint this white. Paint that white. There we go. Connect this directly up to there. Let's see if this works. It might. It might also not work, but we'll see. So, spawn this in. There we go. Excellent. We've got our little conning tower. It allows it to be out of the water pretty much all of the time now. Even when fully ballasted up, which is great. Go ahead and close that up once we're inside. Open this door. Climb out. Okay. Bit weird, but that works. Dial says zero. Uh, in fact, what we need to do is go up here. Open up that door. Close this door. Alright. We need to dive on down. Like so. Filling up that area behind us. Which is fine. There we go. It seems to be full. Oh, and then we need a way of closing the door at the top. Because the, the likelihood is we'd actually be in there already, which is interesting. So, I guess that's fine. Ballast out. Ballast out. There we go. So, we'll, we'll do that. We'll end up getting to the surface. And then we should be good to empty this out. Yeah. Although, I don't know whether that pump's actually working at the moment. It might be. I'm not sure. Right, let's get on the outside. Close this door. Oh, okay, right, it's closed. We kind of need to get inside. <laughs> we need to get inside of the vehicle. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. Ah! I'm underneath the vehicle. I'm about to die. I'm about to die! Sedge! Okay, get inside. Come on. Hey, there we go. Uh, and that is not working. Oh, it's because it doesn't have electricity anyway. That's a problem. Okay, so, give that electricity. Uh, like that. I guess that's probably fine. There we go. Uh, and then we need to fill it with water, and then we need to see what happens. So, yes. Alright, spawn this in at the bottom of the ocean. Go. I am almost dead, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Open that door. There we go. Close that door. Excellent. I'm going to die, and then we'll come back to it. It should have water in, but then once we come back, it shouldn't have any water in. Like, it's pumping out already. Excellent. Good. So far, so good. It's actually working the way we want it to. Right, we're dead. Excellent. Get back over there. I don't know what the emergency is. There's a natural disaster going on, but we don't need to worry about it. Okay, get inside the vehicle. There we go. And that should be zero, so we should actually be able to open this up now. And that's fantastic. We did it. Nice. We actually have a way of getting in and out of this thing now. Excellent. Very good indeed. Okay, cool. There we go. There we go. All right, our ballast is still full, but that's okay. And let's let's go forward. Do 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 do. Wee! Oh, brilliant. No, I actually really like this. This is cool. This is very cool. Uh, the other thing is, I kind of would have liked to have made this look a little bit nicer on the top. Uh, however, obviously that might be a bit of a pain in the butt to do. Uh, so we'll do this, and then we'll do this. There we go. Excellent. And what we will do is that right there, and we'll do this right here. There we go. Makes it look a little bit more 
uh, natural, I guess, I think. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Delete those, actually bring it to there instead. Alright, I'm actually really pleased with this. This is cool. This is very, very cool. Uh, I think I might continue these up to there as well. Uh, just the stripes, and I think that'll work. Yeah. Brilliant! Alright, cool. So, we've actually enabled the whole thing of, if we ram the ground, we will be fine. Uh, also, we do have a new way of getting in. We have a chamber, so that if water goes in here, we can actually pump it out. And that's all actually really good. That's very good. Nice information. Excellent. Uh, in the next one, we'll probably end up adding some lights to this thing, because we definitely do need lights. Uh, we'll probably add some pointing down, some pointing forwards, uh, maybe even some pointing backwards, and we will probably also need some cameras as well. But uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Uh, in the next one as well, after that, we will have to add some arms to this thing. I want some magols as well, so we can attach to the ground, uh, and that would be really cool as well. But for now, thanks for watching. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do just before we finish is I'm going to change it to be orange, because I think that would be cool. So there we go. Orange! Nice. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have any ideas on what we can add to this thing, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.